SUNY Potsdam's $9 million structural deficit will be down to $3 million by the end of next year. Cutting that deficit by two-thirds comes with cutting staff and making program changes. SUNY Potsdam's Chief Financial Officer Brent Parker came on board in November of last year, ending an agreement between Potsdam and SUNY Plattsburgh to share a CFO. Parker doesn't put any of Potsdam's money problems on the shared CFO agreement, but does think it's best for a campus to have its own Chief Financial Officer. It's led to, you know, looking at our, our ability to sort of really drill in and look at some things on a deeper level than, than were being looked at before. I mean, we had some nice systems in place to sort of control expense, but there, you know, there, there are improvements that you can make by, you know, sort of really drilling in and getting to, you know, some details that, that you know, someone that's overseeing two separate solutions may just not have the time to look into. In fact, when Dr. Suzanne Smith took the president's job at SUNY Potsdam, she made it a priority to hire a CFO for SUNY Potsdam to oversee the college's finances.